there's a number of insights from our scholarship over the past 40 years that I, that I think should inform our practice. Very quickly, let me end with these. One, there is no need to romanticize our communities. While some who are involved in civic engagement juxtapose an all-positive community versus a wholly negative campus, ethnic study scholars have always realized that our communities contain both good and bad. What racialized community activists need are serious, committed partnerships, not overblown rhetoric. Two, avoid homogenizing our communities. We need to engage our communities in all their diversity and complexity and not be afraid to take on differences. If our scholarship has shown us anything, it is that diversity of gender, sexuality, class, age, and background enhance the strengths of our peoples, but also can reflect real differences which must be considered in all aspects of civic engagement. Three, sustaining long-term partnerships is critical to success in this work. To effect real change in our communities, we must be willing to work with partner organizations and or individuals over the long term, not just until the book or article or semester is finished. While students may only be there for a short time, our departments and programs must be willing to build trust over many years and help initiate a sustained engagement that makes a difference. Four, to take on difficult issues be willing to teach and to learn. Most of our community's most difficult issues have no easy solutions. Tackling interracial tensions, for example, requires listening to various legitimate grievances, identifying conditions that bring people together and drive them apart, and searching for appropriate responses while mobilizing for su sustained transformation. Five. Think through your own particular contributions to civic engagement. As scholars and teachers, we have something unique to bring to civic engagement work. If all we bring are the skills of community organizers, then we should be community organizers. But academics, with all of our skill sets, can offer unique contributions in community settings that will be appreciated by most in that community. I believe that this is our challenge for the 21st century, to make the institutions we work in more reflective of the desires for improvement and equity in society as a whole and more committed to relevant research and teaching. In that work, our communities are behind us 100 percent. 